Sa so number 2 naman po, class, we have the 2x minus 2 over x plus 3 less than 4. Okay? So, less than 4, ibig sabihin na. Okay? So, pag-usapan natin siya ngayon, paano nga ba natin sinosolve ang uh, ganitong class ng equation? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, katulad po sa number 1 class, no? Mapapansin niyo po siya na ang lahat ng nasa right side ng uh, equal no ay dapat uh, zero. So dapat gawin din po natin siya dito. So si negative as uh, si positive 4, we can now tra uh, i-transfer natin sa kabilang side. So magiging 2x minus 2 all over x plus 3. Then si positive 4 get is negative 4 then less than to 0. Now, what, what can we do is to operate the 2x minus 2 all over x plus 3, then minus 4. So, paano ba natin siya i-subtract? So, Let us subtract by using this uh, techniques. 2x minus 2, then x uh, plus 3, then minus 4. Okay? So, let us solve this one. No? Ngayon, plus, ganito na lang ituturo ko sa inyo. Okay? Bakinig mabuti at mag-focus naman po. Ngayon, tingnan po ninyo, ang una natin gagawin is copy natin yung nasa baba or pagsamahin. Kung mag-isa lang naman siya ay copyin na lang. Kung may, kung may kasama siya doon sa baba na denominator din, i-multiply po. Okay? Next, ang gagawin po naman natin is to let us put 1 here kasi nga po kapag ginawa natin fraction ng isang whole number that is over 1. Okay? So now, itong part na to at saka itong part na to ipag-multiply natin. So 1 times 2x minus 2 which is the same pa rin naman siya 2x minus 2. Then subtract kasi yung sign na ginamit natin. So the, sa part na to, so sa part na to, I-multiply natin ito. C4 tsaka si x plus 3. Yan. Okay? So, pagkatapos po niyan, class, ang mangyayari, bring down the 2x minus 2. Minus 2. Then, negative 4, distribute po kay positive x. Magiging negative 4x. Then, negative 4, distribute po kay positive 3. That is negative 12 all over x plus 3. Now, what should be our next process? 2x, combine all the like terms, 2x, then negative 4x, then the negative 2, and also the negative 12. Then all over x plus 3. What should be our next? Negative 2x minus 4x, that is negative 2x. Okay, negative 2 minus 12, that is negative 14. Then, x plus 3 is bring down. Now, this is our answer for this uh, part. So, ang mangyayari is negative 2x minus 14 all over x plus 3. Then, less than 0. Ngayon, sir, bakit po natin pinag-combine? Once na pinag-combine kasi natin sa class, Siya po yung ating gagamitin sa set A, which is the point test. No? So, yun po yung ating gagamitin sa set A hanggang sa matapos itong uh, problem na to. Okay, sa so test A, meron tayong numerator side. Ano nga po ba ulit ang gagawin natin? Tama po. Kukunin po natin yung denominator side. Ah, numerator side, I mean. No, numerator side by solving the value of x. Okay? So, 2x minus 14 equals 0. Then, negative 2x. Then, si negative 14. Oh, sorry. Si negative 14, pag binipat mo sa left side ng equal, magiging uh, positive 14. So, to obtain the value of x, i-divide po na siya kay negative 2. So, so x now is equals to 14 divided by negative 2. Since magkaiba po sila ng sign, that is negative 7. Okay? Now, can you, look, uh, can you identify nasaan ang negative 7 sa number line? Ito po. Panatilihin lang po muna natin siyang open kasi 
mamaya pa natin siya malalaman kung close point or open point po siya. So, change the value of x to negative 7, negative 7, minus 14, then negative 7 plus 3, less than 0. Okay? So, negative 2 times 7, that is positive 14, then minus 14, then negative 7 plus 3, that is negative 4, less than 0. Next, 14 minus 14, that is 0, all over negative 4, then less than 0. So, 0 divided by negative 4, that is 0, less than 0. Now, this is my uh, question. 0 is less than 0 is a true statement. Oh, that is false. Very good. Why? Bakit siya false? Kasi ang dapat na statement niyan para maging true ay dapat 0 is equal 0. So ngayon, since false ito, ano po ba ang negative 7? Okay. So mananatili siyang open point kasi false po yung statement. So let us go now for test B. The test B now is the denominator side. Get the value of the denominator and that x plus 3 equals 0 and solve for the value of x. So, x now is equals to, this is positive 3, transfer, we transfer mo lang sa kabilang side ng equal, magiging negative 3. So, this is our answer. Ngayon, let us point it the negative 3 here. So, iyan na lang muna natin siya, i-point uh, muna natin siya, no? i-open point muna natin. Okay, so change the value of x using the original formula that we solved kanina. Then, this is uh, x plus 3. Then, this is less than 0. So, negative 2 times the value of x that is negative 3 minus 14 all over negative 3 plus 3 less than 0. So, negative 2 times 3 that is positive, uh, negative 2 times negative 3, that is positive 6, minus 14, all over 3, negative 3 plus 3, that is 0, then less than 0. So, uh, 6 minus 14, that is negative 8, all over 0, then, uh, then be, uh, less than 0. So, nasa baba yung 0, nasa denominator yung 0, so automatic that is undefined na po siya. So, since undefined, is less than 0, that is always false. Yan. Ngayon, since dalawa po yung false, ano po yung gagamitin natin symbol na may expose sa problem natin today? Is it the bracket or parenthesis? Tama, that is parenthesis. Kasi parehong open yung point natin. So, ayan. So, set din naman po class. Let us identify if the cor uh, true or false, if the statement is true or false. Now, tignan nyo po siya mabuti ha. Ngayon, pupunta tayo papunta sa right. Negative uh, 7, no? negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So, pili ka lang ng isang number basta nandito po. Or, kahit hindi yung negative 10. Okay, negative 9. Sige, let us choose negative 9. Change the value of x to negative 9, then minus 14. All over negative 9 plus 3, then less than 0. Okay? Negative 2 times negative 9, that is 18 minus 14 all over negative 9 plus 3, that is negative 6, less than 0. So, 18 minus 14, that is 4, all over negative 6, less than 0. Next, 4 divided by negative 6, that is negative Negative 2 thirds. Then, less than 0. So, tandaan class, negative number or negative fraction is less than 0. Is it true or false? That is true. Very good. Kasi any negative numbers is less than by 0. Since the statement is true, mula po ba sa 7 hanggang 10 ay mag-shade po tayo ng line? Very good. We are going to shade because... Shaded line defines the statement is true. So, ibig sabihin pala, ang shade natin dito, mula dito ay... Okay. Ngayon, sir, nam, pala yung sir, namit natin yung pinakadulo ng number line. Yon. Sabi nga dito, 
negative uh, positive and negative infinity use this if the shaded line reach the last part of the number line since na reach niya yung last part ng number line on this particular uh, statement we need to use the positive and negative infinity so paano po namin malalaman kung positive or negative kung titignan mo sabi if the line is going to the left let us use negative infinity if the line is going to right, we are using positive infinity. So, saan nga yung papunta yung direction ng line? Okay. So, papunta po siya sa left. So, we are using now negative infinity. Okay. So, now, we are now going to the center part of the number line. So, dapat po, ang numbers, dapat po mula negative 6, Hanggang negative 4 Pwede kang pumili ng isa dyan Kahit anong number Basta nasa pagitan lang po nila Okay, sige po So kung napili mo ay negative 4 Tignan natin So change the value of x to negative 4 Then minus 14 All over negative 4 Plus 3 Then less than 0 Okay so, negative 2 times negative 4, that is 8, minus 14. And then, negative 4 plus 3, that is negative 1, less than 0. Okay, next, 8 uh, minus 14, that is negative 6. Negative 6 over negative 1, less than 0. Negative 6 divided by negative 1, that is 6, less than 0. Now, as you can see, class, if the is 6 is less than 0, is it true or false? Okay, that is false because ang 6 kasi ay mas mataas sa 0. Kaya hindi pwede yung statement na yan na maging true. So ngayon, ang question ko dyan, eto bang part na to hanggang dito is masyashade ba natin siya? Okay, tingnan natin. So hindi natin siya pwede i-shade kasi Unshaded line defines the statement is false So therefore, mananatili lang siyang unshaded sa part na yan Okay, let us now go for the right side Sa so right side the math class, tignan po ninyo Kung ano po ba ang pwede nating ipalit na value Mula na hanggang dito lang Sir, pwede po ba yung wala dyan? Sabihin natin 6 Sige, let us use the 6 Negative 2, change the value of x to 6 Minus 14 Then Change the value of x to 6 plus 3 less than 0. Okay, so negative 2 times 6, that is negative 12 minus 14. And then 6 plus 3, that is 9 less than 0. Next, so negative 12 minus 14, that is negative 26. Then all over 9, then less than 0. So negative 26 divided by 9, that is negative 26 over 9. Then, less than 0 Since as you can see, class Kung negative fraction siya Tandaan ninyo, ang any negative fraction Is less than 0 So the statement was True Okay, so now As you can see, to this part That is true, the statement is true Ngayon Kung mula dito, hanggang dito Isishield ba natin yung Line na to Okay, so we are now to shade that because the statement was true. Sabi, kapag ang statement ay true, we can use the unshaded uh, shaded line, I mean. Okay? So now, na-reach natin yung last part ng uh, number line. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay infinity. Ngayon, anong gagamitin natin? Negative or positive? Yes, we are using the positive because the line is going to the right. So, ayan na po yung ating answer for the set B. So, let us now proceed for the, our uh, final answer. So, sa set C class, uh, dito sa number 2, na, uh, we have the uh, notation set or the final answer. So, kung mapapansin po ninyo, can you see the separate uh, shaded line? May nakikita ka ba? Yes, so since may nakikita kang uh, shaded line, ang mangyayari is we use the uh, union sign. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, so ang gagawin naman po natin is part this one. Itong part na to, 
Ang gagamit mo is parenthesis kasi yun yung symbol na ginamit ko, negative 3. And then, yung uh, next is positive infinity. So, anong gagamitin natin kapag, ano, kung bracket ba or parenthesis kapag uh, infinity po yung sign or yung symbol. Automatic po, ano po yan, uh, parenthesis. So, how about this one? Yeah, so this one, we use the parenthesis also. And then, uh, negative 7. And then, negative 7. And uh, this one, negative infinity. Kasi mas mauuna po yung negative infinity. Mas nauna siya kaysa kay uh, negative 7. So, this is our final answer. Yeah. So, proceed tayo sa next. Oh, come on, oh, come on, come on.